Hello and welcome back to Knaveswell Farm. So today we are going to be moving the sheep wool pallet, which doesn't seem very exciting, but we're going to do it anyway. And we're also going to be most likely planting field number one. Field number one is the field which we subsoiled a few weeks ago, uh, so we are way overdue with that job. Uh, right, how do you get to the sheep? I think it's down here. Uh, but I'm not too sure where the pallet actually appears, because it can be different on every map. So, yes, I don't know. In fact, yes, it's, it's different on every map, obviously, because every map's different. Uh, but I, I don't know. Right, uh, yes, obviously uh, going to the cows is not going to be very helpful to us. So, uh, let's try and find the right animal first of all. Now, someone did say that you can actually get to the sheep without crossing field number five. Now that would have been an issue before but because we now own it it doesn't matter at all. We're crossing our own land. Uh, but yes before we were going over the neighbour's land which looked really weird in real life that would have done. Uh, so yes we had to buy it really. But while we're here might as well take a look see if there is another entrance to the field. I didn't think there was but we'll have to have a quick hunt about and see. Ah I think that is a gate. So yeah, ever since the public release version, there is now a different access to the field. Very good. So uh, <laughs> I don't have to cross field number five every time. We won't do that again. Uh, they seem to be okay with their feed, but the the wall pallet is nowhere to be seen. Ooh, what's through here? Hmm. Just like a, an open meadow kind of thing. Getting a bit carried away. I think I've walked off the side of the map. So, uh, yeah, I think the wall pallet will have most likely spawned actually at the yard. Because you, cannot, you can change where it does spawn in Giant's Editor. So, uh, yes, I think it's probably been moved. Let's get back into our telehandler. Oh, we better shut the gate too. You've probably noticed, but we have now skipped the night time before this video, and we made from the cow's milk, we made £14,000, which is really good for one day's work. Um, now, obviously, we're on uh, 10000 at the moment, so uh, some of it has gone on machinery maintenance and also this pallet fork, which I have just recently bought. Uh, right, so no sign of it here found it. I found it before as well because I've already said in another video I better not forget where this is and I, I've gone and forgotten but it's just there. Uh, we're going to have to boom out a bit I think to be able to reach it. Let me just get the uh, side panel going. Okay. So, the, uh, this was 100% full, potentially quite a bit of money. Um, now yeah, I hate taking it down the road like this, but the only alternative is to use that really big bale trailer, which I don't want to do. Uh, so we'll just take it like this. Uh, it's, only a, it's only a short distance to the uh, cell point anyway, so we should be okay. It's obviously very dangerous in real life. But luckily in Farming Simulator, you can fly behind the vehicle you're driving to get a better view. Okay. Is it on the left or the right? Uh, I really don't know. I would guess the right, so we're going to here. Is it this one here? Never sold anything here, so I really don't know. Yes. Pretty good. £4,752 I think that was. That's decent. Good. So, uh, we're finally out of debt again. Uh, we need to get the Fen 820 going with the seed drill. And we're going to uh, direct drill, I think it'll be, uh, in field number one. And looking at the growth, we're doing pretty well. Things have progressed a little bit. I think we've uh, gone up a growth stage here. So the harvest shouldn't be too far away. 
it's hopefully going to coincide with the real life harvest in the UK. So for now we'll just put this back into one of the sheds. That should be uh, a good place for it. And yeah, we haven't got a great deal lined up today. We're just sort of waiting. There it is. We do need to take the chain off. Oh, and I haven't changed the setting. Open closed door used to be D, but it's oh, it's actually changed on its own to R, which is actually better because D, you obviously are walking with D, so uh, it's not as good. So I prefer the R key. Let's just shut the door again. Put the steering wheel console down. Open the back window for a bit of fresh air. And run over the chain. We do need to drop it in a better place than here. Obviously, I'm not intending on uh, driving over the chain. But there's not really any alternative because you can't fold it up. Okay. It should be okay there. So the sea drill is nowhere to be seen. Hmm, where is it? Do we have one? We must have one. Which one do we own? Hmm, I forget. Have we? Did we rent it? Did we really rent it? That would have been ridiculous. But we might have done. I'll have to check. No, of course I didn't. We have got the sulky drill. How did I forget that? It's down here, I think, at the uh, extra storage barn we put up. Oh, looking in funny directions. It should be in here. This is the problem with doing two LPs at the same time. I always get mixed up, and I don't know what we have. So, um, yes, it's not really ideal. Oh, I'm surprised this hasn't grown yet. It looks so much better when it does do. Here we go. Have we got anything in it? Let's just... Um, once again, I really need to uh, adjust the DPI. There we go. Just two buttons on this mouse. It's brilliant. The mouse which I actually reviewed. So good. Um... Right, that is uh, everything we need to do, I think, there. Let's jump back in again. And let's head over to field number one. Yeah, 80% full. It's pretty decent. It's a good thing, because obviously the sea is expensive. And although we can afford it, we don't really want to be spending any more money. Hello, cows. Hello. They seem quite crammed in. They're probably uh, short of food, actually. Are they short of food? Well, they've run out of mixed ration, so we'll have to do that in the next day or two. Uh, they do have silage. That's the whole reason why I gave them the silage, because if I forgot, which I have done, then they would be okay. We've got wedged. They could also do with some straw as well. So uh, I think tomorrow would be a fantastic opportunity to really work on those cows. Uh, because otherwise they're going to be really unhappy. The productivity is only 35% as it is. So yes, as usual, I have neglected them. We've got to get these mirrors switched on. There we go. Looks so much better with working mirrors. And yeah, what crop shall we do? I think we should do... I need to decide very quickly. I think we'll go with canola for here think we will do. Maybe I've done a bit too much canola. No, we'll stick with it. Should be fine. So let's open the gate. It's looking okay. And this should be a relatively easy job. It's not a very big field. There we go. Right then. Let's unfold it. It does make a big difference when you don't necessarily have to cultivate it first, having a direct drill. Um, I would like to do a bit of cultivation, but with Farming Simulator, it obviously doesn't make any difference. And also, 
you can do it this way in real life anyway. So yeah, I think we'll uh, probably stick with it. Although I said it doesn't make any difference cultivating, it actually does in a way, because it can, with soil mod, it will affect the soil moisture. Now, uh, again, we don't need to do it because the soil moisture is actually perfect, so it would be pretty pointless to do it. But if the soil was really saturated, then it would be a good idea to plough or to cultivate. And I think this will probably be the last field that we do. We're not going to plant any more before the harvest. Um, because otherwise the harvest is going to drag on forever. And I should think by the end of this, when we have done everything, everything's harvested, we've got the profits and stuff, um, it'll be very close to the time to change the map to most likely, and I'm hoping, Knaves Well Extended. But I obviously can't say a word about that because I have no idea about it. All I've seen is the FSUK forum post, and it's looking good, but I don't know a release date, so... I can't really say what's going to happen, but either way, really looking forward to Knaves Well Extended. We haven't put any weed prevention on here, I've just realised, and that is a big problem. We can still do it, and we will do, as you would do uh, anyway, but I usually have done it before we plant, just to uh, eliminate any weeds first of all, but it doesn't really matter. As long as we get it done before the harvest, we'll be fine. I probably haven't done this enough, but usually I would choose the next map myself uh, without really taking anyone else's advice, which is not a good thing to do. So, um, I'm not saying we're going to be changing the map anytime soon, because it probably will be more than a month yet, but does anyone have any suggestions for the next map? Because Although, yeah, I won't be able to do every single suggestion, it'll only be one, uh, I'd still love to hear from you. I'd love to know what you think the best map is out at the moment, uh, because that is uh, what I want to be doing. And a few people have said I do way too many British maps, and you might be right, but I tend to do those because they're my favourites. I'm not saying the others are bad, the others are very good as well, uh, but they're just my, personally, they are my favourite type of map for Farming Simulator. Um, I am all for doing a different map though. I really would love to. So uh, yeah, please do give me suggestions and I will definitely consider them. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I did actually change the schedule and basically it's Thornton Farm every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and then Naves well every Friday, Saturday, Sunday and the multiplayer is now Monday instead of Thursday. Uh, the reason why I've done that is because before it was sort of splitting the series up and I didn't really like that and I think Monday is quite a good day to do the multiplayer series because it means I can record it on the Saturday or the Sunday beforehand uh, which is when most people are playing on the server anyway. So yeah, much better than playing on a Wednesday. So that is the reason behind that. Uh, I think that is everything I wanted to say. Oh, no, hang on, one thing. There is one more thing. Um, my Spreadshirt account, which is my merchandise website, uh, that is open for business. You can buy many things off there, actually, if you want to. I'm not saying you have to, uh, but in the past I have had quite a few questions saying, is there anywhere that I can get a Daggerwind branded T-shirt or something? And I've always said, no, there isn't, which doesn't really seem that good. So yeah, there is now Dagwin merchandise. I will put the link below. And uh, yeah, definitely check it out, even if you're not going to buy anything. Definitely worth taking a look. So just thought I'd put that out there. Oh yeah, and uh, as you probably say, it's not a money-making scheme. The commission that you earn from that account is, like, minimal. I don't know what percentage it is, but it's, it's really bad. So... Um, it's, ma it's mainly just so you fans can have merchandise if you want to. And I'll probably be doing some giveaways as well, actually, of some t-shirts at some point, for free, of course. Yes, I'm not that tight. Yes, I'll be doing some giveaways at some point, probably uh, nearer the end of the year, but there'll certainly be some. 
You can see my failed attempt of cultivating from here. You can see like the outline on the left and far side of this field in front of us, field number two. That is when I got stuck in the mud. And you can see how much I did. I didn't even get round the field halfway before I got stuck. So that was a disaster. I should probably try again later. I don't know if we'll be doing that field though. Um, yeah, what I don't want to do is plant all the fields and then find out that Naves will extend has just been released. It hasn't, but if it was, uh, because then I'd feel like I want to change over and just leave this map as it is, abandon it. So I don't want to do too much. That is what I'm wary of. We'll finish off with the headlands and then that is our field done. It's a bit messy there, we better clean that up. But yes, pretty much done. Ah, yes, the gate is in the way. You better shut that. Just so we can uh, plant this bit here. Otherwise it's going to look really weird. Just in the finishing touches and we'll be completed. Right, so uh, once this is done, we obviously need to put herbicide on here. We could also do with putting some nutrients on because it is really bad. I think N NPK will be the best thing to put on. Probably from the fertilizer spreader because the sprayer, I think, is really for the, the herbicide. I'm not saying you can't put the NPK on from the sprayer. I think you probably can do, actually. But the fertilizer spreader is probably the best thing to use. That'll be... Possibly tomorrow, but it just depends how long it takes us to do the cows because yeah the cows are going to require quite a bit of work Is that going to smash into the tractor? They need straw and they could really do with some mixed ration They're gonna they can live off just the silage, but the productivity won't be as good to be honest I'm quite interested on in seeing how they've uh, changed the livestock for FS 17 uh, I don't know if they've made it more complex. If they have, that would be good in my opinion because at the moment it's quite basic. Uh, so I think they probably could go over the top with the complexity. It doesn't want to be so difficult that you just can't do it. Um, like you need a, a, a degree in agriculture. Uh, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, yes, if you could do just a little bit more than what you can do now, it would be perfect. That's good. Um, yes, from the... The screenshots which we've seen so far, it doesn't look like there is any 3D textures for the ploughing. Um, I can't say if that's the case or not, that's just what the screenshot looks like. To be honest, I think if there isn't, then that would be quite disappointing because it's been a long time now since the first farming simulator and they've always had 2D textures. So I think really it's about time that they were 3D. Now obviously I'm no games designer it's probably very hard to do but it's just one of those things which you kind of think it's it's about time it's a simulator it's about time that you can actually see the soil turning over uh, but anyway that's just my opinion it's just one of the many things which I've thought of most of them are very positive it's just that is the one thing which I've really picked up on back through the mud Yep, make the tractor all mucky. And obviously we'll put it straight back into the barn. Yeah, looking forward to this grass growing because I think it'll look a lot better. At the moment it looks like we've just gone over it with a spray can. But once it's grown, it'll look a bit more natural. We'll try and tuck it away in the far corner. There we go. Right, so thank you for watching. I know we haven't done too much today. Uh, we'll try and do quite a bit more tomorrow. It should be a longer episode. Uh, this is actually one of the shortest I've done for quite a long time. So yeah, I do, I do apologize. Uh, but yes, I've got to catch up anyway with the uploading. It takes forever to upload these. So yes, I think a shorter one now and then is probably good. Otherwise, there's gonna be a bit of a backlog. But yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.